Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, Galetto Rossonero here with you guys, VAR, the VAR, we always talking about the refs and the VAR and I try to avoid talking about them, but seeing what happened this weekend between Juventus and Salernitana, where uh, the error is uh, flagrant, flagrant, uh, we have to talk about it, so uh, just to give you a context, it's 2-1 for Salernitana, 93rd minute, Juventus scores a 2-2 off a penalty shot. Some debate of the penalty shot was supposed to be a penalty shot. You could see the Juventus player drag his leg out. He gets caught. They give it a penalty. Chista, non-chista, depending on the refs, whatever. So 2-2, uh, goalie actually makes the save. On the rebound, Bonucci buries it. And so 2-2. But the big focal point is the 3-2 that Juventus scores. Because Juventus does score the 3-2, guys. And if I would have been, if that would have been done to my team, like they did to Milan last season on a few occasions where there were barren calls, I would have been frustrated. And so um, on the image that they show you, you see the uh, cross come in. Bonucci is offside. And he tries to play the ball. You can see him try to header. And so he is effectively in a offside position because he tries to play the ball. He's in front of the net. Yes, he doesn't touch it. But to me, if you try to head it and you're right in front of the goalie, you're, you're trying to play for it. You're, you're trying to go for the ball. You missed it. Okay. So they go to the bar. They decide not to give it because the angle that they show shows Bonucci offside. Now. Game ends, there's a disaster, uh, there's a fight between the two teams, four red cards, uh, including Allegri, Quadrado, Milik, um, that won't be available for the next Serie A game. Um, Milik gets a second yellow because he took off his shirt, so it's an automatic red. Quadrado, Fazio, they get into a fight, they both get expelled. Allegri, furious, he gets expelled as well. Um, but there's an image of... Uh, the actual play of the entire field where you clearly see that Candreva holds everybody in line. And so there is no offside. Now, in a day and age where we have a million cameras, a million, how is this possible that the VAR doesn't have that image? So two things. One, uh, they need to upgrade their camera system or two people are doing it on purpose and they are uh, blindly choosing the images that they're looking at because um, the image is clear guys there is he holds them in by about three meters like Kandreva the line that is drawn from Kandreva and the line that is drawn from Bonucci there's at least three meters guys it's not even close so how does the VAR not have that picture and so um guys like only like it's time for Serie A and La Liga La Lega to decide guys all of you are fired all of you are fired we're hiring refs from another country go get refs from uh anywhere else just buy them off Bring them and tell them you will start refing Italian matches because the ones that we have in Italy, guys, they all suck. They all suck from Serie A to Serie B to Serie C. Every category, there's a disaster. I cannot believe that we don't have anybody, or they hire people that are completely out of the refing game for the VAR system, right? And they just hire people that are uh, um, treated as refs but don't have any partisanship for any of these because some of these refs look like they're favoring some teams more than others and it really sucks it sucks because it influences the uh standings at the end of the year so guys honestly it's time for la lega to do something we can't keep going forward like this every single weekend a ref or the var decides a game horrible 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 only in italy guys let me know what you think write the comments like and subscribe